everyone, this is System Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Sky Factory 3. Yep, it's the thing. We're playing it. We're gonna get it done. We got stuff to do today. Whole bunch of stuff. Um, in between videos? Didn't do anything. I did literally nothing. I've been very busy with life, and uh, yeah, that is a thing. But today, today, well, we got this big giant platform. Big giant platform, it is all reactor casing. We're going to do. Uh, we're gonna fight these guys because it's very important because I apparently didn't put a light down But uh, we are going to make a max size reactor max size reactor. Let's grab some uh, Do I have a wand in here? No, let's grab a glowstone just a couple glowstone real quick Gonna drive me crazy because it's not painted, but uh, just to make sure that doesn't happen again while we're working So yeah, we're gonna build a max size reactor. Just gonna be the place for it. Uh, we actually aren't that far from the base you know, it's over there looking all cool and awesome and amazing as usual. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to go with a max size reactor. And when I say max size, I mean max size. Maximum amount of rods and coolant. So yeah, uh, this thing is going to take, let me see here. Look here at casing. No, we want uh, extreme. This thing is going to take 28, sorry, 20.7. Uh thousand <laughs> fuel rods to fill it's it's going to be react uh, ridiculous i was going to say reactless i don't think that's a thing but it's going to be ridiculous it's going to be ridiculous i think i got everything i need i think uh but we'll work with it on the fly work on the fly and uh yeah we're gonna work on it uh we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it done we got so many things going on in my head we're gonna start getting right to it though so let's go to uh Diamond. This thing's also going to take 20.7 thousand diamonds. That, that, that's a thing. That is a thing. But uh, we're going to do it a way that kind of speeds it up. Um, but I first need to get all these down. And this is going to take a few minutes. A few minutes because, well, the inside of this thing is actually... Whoa, that thing's too quick. Too quick. Boop. And boop. Get in there. Um... What was I saying? Do I even know? Do I even know? I have no clue what I was saying. Uh, yeah, this thing is going to take 20,000 diamonds, 20,000 uh, of these fuel rods. Uh, it should produce over 1.5 million power. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, we're going to do something else with it too. But uh, yeah, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get all this in. But I need to get this first floor in. Then we can kind of automate it. So, uh... I'm going to do this and then uh, see what we can get done. Get done. I want to get this done today. Um, one thing, I don't really want to have to do this, but it is an achievement. <laughs> you know what I mean? So these things are inefficient as heck. <laughs> these things are, yeah, totally inefficient. Uh, not very useful. <laughs> I could build much better ones. That would use a lot less fuel. A lot less fuel. I think this thing is going to use about 100 millibuckets of fuel a second or something like that. Something like that. It might be even worse than that. It might be even worse. But uh, it's going to be pretty rough. Pretty rough. But uh, we're going to get it going. And we're going to keep it going. I plan to keep this thing on. Uh, we will have, you know. Oop. Did I break that? I got it. I got it. We will have this uh, million million uh, RF a tick, at least from it, for a long time. So I'm probably going to have to do a little more Eulorium. Um, it's going to take over 20,000 Eulorium, I think, to fill this thing. <laughs> the amount of resources it takes to make this thing. Uh, the inside of this thing is actually... The outside is 32 by 32 by 48. The interior, where all the fuel rods go, and the diamonds go, the coolant, whatever whatever kind of coolant you're going to use uh, is uh, 30 by 30 by 46 so that is a massive number <laughs> to think about when you're, you're you're thinking about how many blocks that is I, I, I haven't mapped out the exact number of blocks but it is a lot it is a lot it's a uh, well over 200,000 diamonds not blocks but well over 200,000 block uh, diamonds Boom. And uh, I'm just going to keep at this. I'm going to keep at this, and then we're going to get to the diamonds, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, well, we got <laughs> the first level fuel rods in. 
And now we gotta add our first level of diamonds. And after this, it'll actually get quite a bit easier, but we gotta get this first level done. First level done. I forgot to mention too, the diamonds. The diamonds, I actually, I made the uh, RF tools dimension. Uh, it took me about four hours, but I finally got a large orb dimension and I absorbed it. And uh, now I can make large orb worlds. So um, I made a large orb diamond world and uh, that is where I want to get all my diamonds because I can get, I could break one orb basically, uh, keep my magnet on and I have a filled inventory in a couple seconds. And it, you just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. It's uh, super easy that way. Um, the hardest part is actually getting the dimension you need because uh, it could t you could get it on your first try, your very first dimension you make, or it could take a lot. And it took me, I think, like 31 dimensions before I found mine. And uh, other people will find it the first try. Other ones, not so much. I mean, it's it's really a matter of luck. And uh, I wasn't very lucky. <laughs> oh, there we go. Boop. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hammer this out. I'm gonna keep keep going at this. I'm gonna keep hammering it out. We're gonna get this done, and then we're gonna speed this up a lot. I'm gonna show you a way to do the next part of it a lot faster. So we'll get to that. Okay, and the first level is completely done. Completely done. And uh, we're gonna get to a way to, like I said, automate this a little quicker, and uh, get this going a little faster. So I got some stuff here already kind of set up, and I guess I'll use those as placement blocks. But uh, we're gonna use the builder. We're gonna use the builder once again, and we're gonna use it to actually copy this floor, and uh, we're gonna keep pop copying it as we go up. So that is a thing. That is a thing. Oh, that's actually wrong. Let's fix this. Boop. Um, what I have here are the space chamber controller blocks and the space chamber corner blocks, and we're gonna need eight of these. Well, seven of the corners, one controller. Uh, the recipe of those pretty cheap. Not that bad. Cheap as heck, actually, when you think about it. Once you see what these can do, uh, you'll realize just how cheap they are. Uh, boop, boop. I'm going to put it... I actually want it right there, don't I? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's put that there. And that's actually not where I want it. I actually want it right here. There we go. Then we're going to need it up here. Then one there. And we're going to have to do this around all four corners. Because we just want to copy that middle level. Just that middle level. That is the one we want. There we go. Boop. And we'll need one down here as well. There we go. I might as well put the controller here. Doesn't matter as long as it goes in one of the spots. Doesn't matter really where it goes. Just uh, the one that kind of decides where you do the next part of it from. Boop, boop. Oh, don't need to do that. Calm down. Calm down your boots. Why am I trying to put it there? I did that completely wrong. So good. We only have so many more of these that we're done. Boop. There we go. And yeah, once we have this done, we'll be able to basically auto build each level. We'll just have to reset uh, one setting to get it go exactly where we want to move it up one layer at a time after that. So that is what we're doing. It's just a matter of getting it done. Boop and boop. And nope, that's a wrong kind of boop right there. That's kind of boop you don't want to boop. Don't be booping that kind of boop. Go. There we go. Oh, so good. Beautiful. There we go. And that should be. I just want to make sure they're all in the right place, straight off the corner. Yes, they are. Okay. And we're going to grab... We have this. We have this. I already have this on me. So first thing first, let's take this and find the controller block. And boop. we just got to right-click it, get a little dung, and chamber successfully created. So... That is the first part. Oh, I already have it on me. Why do I keep leaving? We're then going to take the space chamber card and just right click and it'll say card set. To ch it'll, it'll set a channel. It'll set a channel to it. And uh, yeah, yeah. Now we can put down builder. We don't really want it here. I got to figure out the best spot for it. I'll do it by putting the card in it and just getting a preview. And that just kind of shows the layer. And uh, I guess we need it. 
Do I put it like right here? So we need it like right, okay. We'll do it this way. So if I change which point it's hinged to, I'm gonna do it that way so it shifts to that side. Then I'm gonna put it over there by the controller. So let's pull this out, stop the preview, grab that. And I should be able to put it right here, I think. This should be a good spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boop. There we go. Put this in here. Go to preview. Why why is the preview broken? Why why are you broken preview? I'll just do this. This does work. Don't ask me why. I break the preview. <laughs> Bye preview. There we go. Bam. And it's not giving me a preview. I actually think it needs to be one higher. So boop. Boop. Stop that. Put the chamber card. There we go. And that should be it there. We're going to test it out here. We're going to test it out see if it works. Uh, we're going to need a lever and some power. So let's get a flux. Boop. I don't have any. I'm completely out for once. Boop. One of those. And we're going to need a lever. We do have some of those. Sweet. There we go. Don't need these here. There we go. That's fine. And power. We need more power. Put it on the bottom, I guess. Boop. There we go. And all we need to do now is get what we need to actually put into the build. Which is why 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 do I have this stuff? Just go away. Go away. There we go. Let's grab uh, some diamonds. And we'll grab some uh, fuel rods. We'll probably need more than that, but uh, this will get us started. Enough to get us started. Boop. Boop. Boop, 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 and boop. And uh, try turning it on. There we go. And we could just rinse and repeat this for every level. And uh, I basically <laughs> going to have to do this uh, a bunch more times. Like right now, I can change this space chamber uh, and copy two levels now, and then do a set of two two levels. Then I could do a set of do copy four levels after that. Then do four levels. But we need to do what was it forty six levels worth? So we got to kind of map it out. I'm gonna make one more space card, probably with just a single row in it just because I don't know the math. When I get to the top, if I keep just doubling up, I'm going to get way over what I need. So, um, yeah. Going to have to do this a bunch more, and uh, I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get all these in here automatically, super fast, using the pretty little builder. I love this thing. I love this thing. I know I keep coming back to this, but uh, this thing's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, and... I've, I've finished all the diamonds, I've finished all the fuel rods, i finished the roof, so we've got all our uh, reactor control rods on top of the fuel rods. Uh, I've finished the outer casing, uh, the frame I should say, and I'm just working on the walls now, so I mean, we're almost done, we're almost done realistically. Uh, it's pretty soon this massive giant wall of diamonds and eulorium <laughs> and graphite is uh, gonna start generating us massive amounts of power this thing is by no means going to be uh, efficient it's gonna be extremely extremely inefficient I I didn't want to do an efficient one it, it tells you to try do a max reactor and it tells you to do one with diamonds in the achievement book so I figured let's do a max reactor max sized with the max amount of diamonds that you can put in it and uh, That'll be a thing. And I just messed that all up. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to remove all that front. This is supposed to all be glass. I'll fix that. Actually, I can vein mine that if I do it right. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and uh, we'll get right to it. We'll get right to it. Um, just gonna do a couple more finishing touches and we'll be able to fire this puppy up. So I'll be back in a couple more. This puppy's <laughs> fully built, fully built. And my goodness, is this thing a monstrosity. It is a monster. The pure scope of this thing is pretty crazy, pretty crazy, but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, I like it. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't actually formed a multi-block yet, so let's get to that right away. Let's do that. Let's throw this here. And we're going to put in the controller and hope. Boom. Yes, it did multi-block. Sweet. It is working. So we should have an interface here. Yes, we do. Offline. Great. Great. Um, so what I have here is uh, pretty simple. Just a uh, reactor access port. That's going to be for importing Eulorium. This one's going to be for exporting, what is it? Cyanite? Yes. Exporting Cyanite. So boop. And uh, got an exporter, importer. Uh, I am going to need Eulorium. I need a Eulorium block. Boop. And I'm going to need, and this thing's going to probably lag the second I do this. Uh, exporter, I'm going to need a piece of cyanite. Do I have a piece? Yes, I do. I have quite a few. Boop. Okay. We can put that in there. This will be getting rid of waste. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's wrong. I need to put that into the exporter. Uh, and in the importer, I'm actually going to throw a crafting card. Then I'm going to throw do, 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 that there, and I want the crafting card actually here, because <laughs> that would make much more sense. What? Why can't I have the crafting card on the importer? Oh, because I have these backwards, don't they? I always do this. I always do this. Let's just switch this over. Boop. Exporter, importer. I always, wouldn't matter which way they put it, half the time I'd probably get it wrong. So. That is the thing. Uh, get that out. We're going to put that there. There we go. And oh, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, <laughs> the second I do that, lag is going to happen. Uh, set the filter on. Th Actually, we don't even need a filter on this. It'll know to pull anything out. And uh, that should be it. That should be it. We got our power tap here. So we can, you know, tap out power because that is what power taps do. Uh, we're also going to put in, I think, a second power tap. It's going to be kind of a short-term one because right now um, I don't have any way. My, my power ball, my uh, draconic power ball, is actually full. So we're not going to be able to tell how much power this thing's actually producing. It's going to fill this very fast. But uh, I figured with 40 of these, they'll give us about a billion power storage. Give us a good judge of, you know, how well this thing's producing. Boop, boop. And maybe a boop and a boop. And uh, I won't leave that there a long time. Once I upgrade to the Powerball, the higher level one, tier 8, um, I'll never be able to fill it anyway. But uh, that is the thing. And I just have another network set up here. I love these mini networks now. They are so easy to do for fine storage. It's great. I have them all over the place now. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready to fill this thing. I'm going to fill this thing, and I'm a little afraid. Uh, because, yeah, this thing is going to lag. It is going to lag, so... Might as well get through it. Might as well get through it. And it's 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 gonna it's gonna lag. It's gonna lag bad. It's gonna. <laughs> is it going? Is it filling? I can't even tell. Filling, status. It is filling. This is gonna take a few minutes. Um, quite a few actually. Um, it's filling at max speed, mind you. But uh, I'm pr probably gonna take a break here. Gonna break. Take a break here because as long as that is going on, um, <laughs> my FPS is going to be in 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 the toilet, in the total toilet, and that's probably going to take probably about 15 minutes. I mean, this whole project already, just building the diamond in the fuel rods has taken me. That took me about 45 minutes. The casing probably another 10. Uh, odds and ends another tw we're looking at about a three hour project here just to get this these two achievements done so it is it is a big one but uh yeah i'm gonna take a break here and uh, i'll be back once the thing is totally filled and we're ready to actually turn this puppy on okay this thing is finally a hundred percent full hundred percent full and uh we're gonna see we're gonna turn it on in a second my fps is probably gonna drop down to about <laughs> three once I turn it on, but uh, we're going to turn it on anyway and uh, see how much power we get out of this thing. See how much. Oh, I didn't put the capacitors in. Uh, the capacitors, I don't know what's going on with them. I'll show you. I'll show you. Boop. I had to take them out uh, temporarily. Something is causing them to fill wirelessly, and I don't have any flux... Uh, 
flux points around here or any flux I don't understand what's charging them wirelessly something is charging these wirelessly so a lot of them are already half full so I don't understand like now it's not okay moment of truth let's turn this puppy on let's turn it on and see what happens gonna give it a couple seconds to ramp up how bad's my FPS? My FPS is down to 8. <laughs> uh, I knew it was going to be bad. Uh, no, I can't move. Okay, we'll just stay here. We are making... <laughs> that ME is million. We're making 1.74... 1.75 million RF. But we are using... <laughs> uh, 96 buckets of... Uh, <laughs> of Eulorium a tick, which is horrible. That is horrible efficiency. That is a uh, one 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 ingot. Yeah, one ingot every. Is that no? That might be even more than that. How many are in a bucket? Is it ten in a bucket? That might be like one ingot a tick, or is it one twenty-five? I can't remember the numbers. That is close to an ingot a tick. That is close to an ingot a tick right there. Which is crazy. It's crazy. 1.79. Almost 1 1.8 million per tick, though. That is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And it's already charged. <laughs> uh, stop. More. Uh, second. Looking at it is bad. Uh, we're going to turn it off, though, because right now it's uh, already filled up buffer. It already filled 1 billion RF. I know it was about... A ways done, but that didn't take very long at all. Off the, uh, the lag isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. I still have one more thing I want to do to this, but uh, I'm gonna kind of set it up and then show you. And uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. We'll take a look. Okay, and I'm back. I'm back, and we're gonna try setting something up here. Try setting something up here that uh, oh, I actually didn't want that on right now. I have that broken on purpose. Boop. We're gonna break this so my FPS doesn't drop while I'm doing this. But uh, we're gonna to try to set up an open computer screen here and a computer program. Um, I haven't used this one for extreme reactors. I've used it for big reactors in 1.7. Uh, but I found one. I found one. And I'll leave a link down below of the program and the video I got it from. But uh, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. Uh, we don't need a power tap. What we are gonna need is a computer case. We're gonna need a computer case. Actually, first off, we're gonna need one of these, which is a power converter. It is just a uh, converts power into the power that is used by this mod. Um, so we're just going to pop that right on a power tap. And then we have to make a computer case, and this is a tier three one. These are pretty weird recipes I have to throw out there. Uh, some of them are pretty odd, like diamond chips and where is it? Transistors. Just odd recipes that I wasn't used to. It didn't take long to make or anything. Just. Uh, you know, adapt to new recipes. It's a thing. And we're going to throw that there. And I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I have a hard disk. Boop. This is effectively a computer. We are building a computer. There's our RAM. So, boop. It's tier 3 RAM. So, we're going to put it in the tier 3 slot. Uh, graphics card is going to go in tier 3 slot. Internet card can go into any of these slots. But we just want to use one of the tier 2s. Uh, we got tier 3 CPU. We're going to throw that up there. And we have the Lua program. And, oop, makes a funky sound. And the operating system, which is on a disk drive. We're totally uh, 1990s there. Not even 1990s, late 1980s for those disk drives. And we're going to set up the screen here. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. All done. Let's leave. No, a <laughs> little bit more to it than that. And we're also going to need this keyboard, and we're just going to stick it somewhere we can access it easy. So we'll just throw it on the side here. Okay, and that's the start of it. Um, we need to, this thing needs power first off, so I'm going to give it a flux here because I don't have the reactor. Oops, wrong one. Well, no, that one's fine. Uh, I don't have this turned on right now, but this will make sure that it gets power. Boop, boop. Just make sure it's moving. Yes, it is. Uh, okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do in here is type. You open up the screen. Basically, it's the same as keyboard. This is a computer. But we're going to install. Oh, 
get some lag here. Oh, I didn't turn on my computer. First thing you do before you use any computer is turn on the computer. <laughs> it'll do all this funky stuff and it'll take a couple seconds because uh, right now it's running everything off this OS disk uh, operating system and uh, we need to change that. So we're going to move to the hard drive by doing this. Install. Boop. Install OS. We're going to put yes. So Y. Hit enter. And it's going to do all this funky stuff. This thing is so cool that you actually literally have a computer inside Minecraft. Like, this thing is actually a coded operating system. It is literally a computer. I mean, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But we're not using it for the whole computer thing. We're using it for... We need it to reboot. Click yes. Boop. And it will. It will reboot. Oop. What am I doing? And we'll just let that load. There we go. There we go. Now, we need to put in a command. And I'm just going to paste it. If you have this code already, and if you go and watch the video, because I am going to link it down below. Um, if you open up the screen and you copy it, you know, control C, um, and get this command, paste band, get minus S, and the weird little word, and start.lua. Uh, you just hit the insert key when you're in the screen, and that will paste it. So, boop. There we go. So that part's done. And then, next we need to, I think it's this. Go back. Then, I think it is, we need to, oh, that's not right. Edit autorun.lua. So we'll do that and hit enter. Boop. Then we got to add one more command here. And it's this one here. Uh, OS doc execute uh, parenthesis, then quotations, home, backslash, start.lua. This isn't going to make any sense to you until you watch the video, but if you watch the video, then you'll, you'll get it. Um, and it tells you all about it and how this program exactly works. I'm not going to go through the fine details, uh, but yeah, that is the thing. Then we're just going to control S to save, then control W to go back. Then, uh, we're pretty much done. CD home. The funny thing is I used to work on computers like these, so I, I kind of get how it works. I don't know how to code like this at all, but uh, that is the thing. Now, if I turn on this reactor now, boop, then turn this off and turn it back on. When it boots up, we should get a different screen. We're going to see here. Didn't work. Oh, need to take this out. Boop. You don't need the floppy disk in there after you're done all that. Hmm, why isn't it going? Uh Okay, I'm back, and, well, I figured out the problem. I figured out the problem. I totally derped. I totally derped, and I forgot to put the computer port, which is, where is that? Computer port. Computer port. Is that it? Reactor computer port. Boom. I forgot to, forgot to put that behind the computer. <laughs> I totally knew it had to go there. Uh, it, it's always had to go there. Even a 1.7 had to go there. Um, yeah, totally forgot. Totally forgot. Derped. Anyway, now we've got our screen, and it's working. I just had to restart it after I, uh, Put that port in, and uh, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing, and, and got this ball of uh, gargantuan flux storage ready to go, and uh, this ready to go. Basically, what this thing does, I haven't explained it yet. Uh, the whole point of this is to control your fuel rods. Um, you have a thing called fuel rod insertion, which actually can be set at the top of the reactor. So you got these up here, reactor control rod, and depending on how far you insert the rod, it produces different levels of power. Um, all the way down, if they're fully inserted, the reactor, that particular control rod, uh, will use no eulorium whatsoever, effectively turns it off. Well, this is a computer program that basically does that for you. It does that for you. Basically, I have this, the whole point I got this was, this thing is going to be a eulorium monster. 
and when it's not actually needed to produce power I want it to turn off that is my whole purpose of this um, yeah but if I need the power it can go full tilt but if it doesn't need the power I want to turn off and you can tweak these numbers I mean I can sit here and click them uh, I think I can do them out here too actually I think if I Boop. shift No, no, you can, you can. But uh, my ring's doing that weird boxy thing. Ignore the box, ignore it. We'll just do it in this screen here. You can hold shift and right click them and you do it there. Or you can come to the screen and uh, just click on it just like it was a, you know, a regular panel. And the maximum, the two numbers, you got a min and a max. The max basically tells it, it's basically checking the energy stored inside the reactor. If it was set at, say, I'm going to set it for my reactor for my use. Uh, at 20%. Um, when that energy stored hits 20%, this reactor is going to turn off. It's going to automatically turn off. And uh, yeah, that is the thing. Um, the min basically tells it when to start slowing down and start inserting rods. So when it hits 10%, it's going to start dropping the rods slowly until it hits 20% where it's going to totally shut off the reactor. So it's going to start producing a little less power, a little less power, a little less power. It's not as useful. The min is really useful on smaller reactors. Um, on big reactors like this, I mean, I'm going to fill this buffer in one tick. So the min almost has no use for me. But early game um, or even mid game, the min setting is giant. It is giant because it'll start reducing the power. And because uh, basically, it might be even still producing power right now. It is off right now. No, it's not producing any power right now, but it was because it started filling uh, this gargantuan flux when I was replacing them. Um, because when you turn off uh, an extreme reactor or a big reactor, um, the power doesn't instantly go off. It's already produced. It's already eaten a certain amount of eulorium. It's already going to produce a certain amount of power. So there's spillover. So the sooner it can start throttling down the less likely you are to waste eulorium um, by burning eulorium you don't need to because extreme reactors will keep producing at 100 percent even if you don't need the power so you end up with very wasted power and the way that it t slows down slowly it will you know make you waste even more because it, you kinda get like a spillover so this say if you had early game a reactor was only producing 5000 RF um, or tick and have a million storage you could set it to you know slow down at about 800,000 RF or sorry 880% and the spillover would probably only just fill your buffer so it would just fill your energy, energy stored and uh, not waste your lorium but for me it's not useful for me I want this to turn down immediately once the uh, the second it starts getting filled and we're gonna turn this on now and you'll kinda see it's not gonna take long for it to fill this 2 billion cuz that's what I have right here 2 billion storage these are gonna fill insanely fast um, it's gonna ramp up Ooh, lag lag I am sorry for the lag but it's gonna fill up those super fast I mean it's a million a tick so well 1.7 1, 1. million so that's Realistically, what, 10, 20, 30 million a second, roughly? <laughs> it is a lot of power. It is a lot of power. Um, probably not quite that much because I'm probably getting not every tick because of the lag. But, uh, yeah, there's 3.5 billion. It's already got a billion in here. And if it's only been on for not even a minute, <laughs> not even a minute. But the second it hits uh, 3.5 this reactor is going to shut down and that is the whole purpose of this this entire screen that was very long-winded and I probably didn't explain it very well but uh, I am going to put the link of the video I found this from it was from a youtuber I believe his name is Kraken I think it's Kraken don't quote me on that um, you can check out his channel really cool video and uh, I want to give him credit where credits do because I love this program while well, program like this and uh, 1.7 uh, there were several of them for 1.7, but I haven't found many for uh, uh, 10. 10 2? 10 2? Yeah. For 10.2, so this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And shouldn't take long. 
Oh, the lag is so painful. That is the thing. I even turned off my particles. Well, minimal. Set them minimal. But uh, it's still lagging. Because most of the lag is actually coming from... There we go. It's filling up. And it should start turning off now. Actually, it probably is off. Yes, it is off. If we check in here. Boom. It's just going to go down. Fuel rods are probably 100% inserted. If we go... Th oh, I can check the fuel rods right there. Boop. Fuel rods, control rod level 100%. So it is effectively off, even though it is still technically turned on. Which is what makes it so cool, because it gets to stay on, and it is ready. Once you need the power, it will produce the power. So that is a thing, a very long-winded thing. <laughs> and I probably did a horrible job at explaining it. <clears throat> but that is effectively two more achievement done. Uh, we got our... Max size reactor done and max size reactor with uh, cooled with diamonds. So there we go. Just bam. Two done. And I did it in the maximum size way possible. I mean, <laughs> 20 point seven thousand uh, diamond blocks to do it this way. And like I said, it is not efficient. This thing uses close to 100 millibuckets a second. Um, but if I add two more farms, I actually will be able to keep up to it. So I'll be able to keep up to its output and... Uh, just be able to leave it on. I'm just going to leave this chunk loaded and never come near it. <laughs> These were only for short term. I'll actually get rid of them. I don't need them. Um, yeah. I was just doing that for testing purposes. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I love that screen. Uh, I hate the lag this thing causes. <laughs> I will not be over here very much. So yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's it for this video. Um, as always... If you liked this video, please leave a like. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. Also, uh, I'm going to leave a link to the to the video that uh, I got this program from. Please check that out. Do me a favor. Check that guy out. Um, really cool video and really cool program. program. Um, whoever wrote this needs to get the credit that they deserve because it is pretty freaking awesome. Just going to throw that out there. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take off. You guys all have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.